Okay, today we're going to screen print on a terry towel. So we're silk screening on it, screen printing on it, and we're using, of course, water-based inks. So let me show you that. We got a board on here that's 16 inches wide, which is perfect because this terry towel is a fringe towel and it's a golf towel with a grommet. And uh, so it fits perfectly on the board. Center everything up and you'll be ready to print. Of course, uh, spray some spray adhesive on there. Uh, and uh, since you're probably not going to do a flash on it, you're going to probably just, it's a white towel, uh, just regular spray adhesive will work just fine. And uh, we'll show you what it's like when we lay down the screen. There we are. So we're going to put our ink in there and we're going to print that up. Coming up next. Okay, to save time, what I've done is I've already printed it. So I put the ink in there and I screen printed the towel. And uh, so it's done. Take a look at it. One color, like a royal blue, printed on there. Remember, you want to use a 110 or 83 mesh. You know, get that ink on there because it takes a while to get the, down into those pores of that towel. And um, especially, this isn't a velour towel, it's a terry towel. So it's totally different. It's a it's a little harder to print than would be a you know a um, velour towel. Um, remember uh, that we're going to go to the next process. We're going to run this through the dryer, and then we're going to do our second process, which we like to do, and that's we're going to put it on our heat press and we're going to press it, and that'll make it look really nice. So it's going to fit almost perfectly on the heat press. It won't take long to press it, and that's going to sink that ink right into that towel. I don't think it will come out after we stick it through the dryer once or twice. Get that evaporation of that water out of there. Um, and it's going to probably be fine there, but we like to do an extra process, which makes them even look better. So we'll do that and show you, and we'll be right back. Okay, let's talk about the last stage. We're here at our heat press. We got an Insta heat press and we're going to press this towel. So uh, you can use a Teflon sheet on it, put it on it and press it. But I've never had to do that. The ink is dry. It's not like a Plastisol. It's a water based. It goes right into the garment. So you can just pull your platen down and press it, especially if it's been run through the dryer like we've done. Or you can just stick it underneath the heat platen for a little bit and it dries right away. There's all sorts of different... Some people use a heat gun. I've never used a heat gun, but some people do that. Just a little heat gun and, and heat it up that way. This is the way we do it. It's professional. It makes the towel look great. So we're achieving two purposes. We're making the towel look good. We're also pressing in the ink to make it look good. So let's do that right now. We're just going to press it for about 20 seconds. So 20 or 30 seconds will be plenty. As you can see, I didn't even use a Teflon sheet. You'll see what it looks like. So remember, we're using water-based inks. And some water-based inks, you'll be able to put an additive in there so it actually dries in the material also. And that way you could just hang, you know, hang dry it or lay it down to dry and then take it over here and do this process at the end. So there it is. And there it is pressed on. Now you want it to look perfect. I would press just the other edges for just a few seconds and that will look perfect and then we'll take a look at it. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see we finished our towel. I pressed the whole towel and it looks really nice. As you can see, uh, it really pushes down the, uh, the pile on that terry and it makes it look a lot nicer. Try it yourself. If you don't like it, fine. But this is the way that I've been doing it for 28 years with towels. And I like the way it turns out. And I hope you'll like it too. So remember water-based inks. And we pressed it at about 325 to 350. Is the perfect temperature to press it. Remember, it's already gone through the dryer. 
and so it's you know already dry so just you can just press it if you want a Teflon sheet put that on there if you I pressed it without the Teflon sheet there's no problem there's nothing on my pal my platen at all there's it's just dry so this is what it looks like this is how it turns out and of course always do a wash chest check it out yourself make sure you're happy with the results by always doing a wash test and then you'll see for yourself that the product is good that it's it doesn't come out of the towels and it looks vibrant and great then you're ready to go into production and do as many as you need for your customer and after you get it down then of course you don't have to be doing the wash test a lot anymore but I would say you want to do it and make sure you got the process down so thank you very much for watching the video and stay in touch with the ecstatic productions channel and we got more videos to come remember subscribe to our channel we'll see you next time